morning ladies and gentlemen. It has been quite the break for me. I'll have to talk about it a little bit later. I am up here, I think it's October 10th. Paul and I just parked the four-wheelers and we're going back for uh, probably two nights of fun. Two nights, three days. Probably not gonna do too much filming on the hike in. There's not really a trail, so um, yeah, we'll see. But we're gonna have some fun, do some fishing, uh, eat good, campfire, all the good things. Oh, it feels so good to be out. We had a little fiasco last weekend. I'll tell you about it later. It was only 1.3 miles, um, a challenging 1.3 miles. There's no trail. So uh, we're here. We're just walking to the same place we camped the last time we were here last year. I'm going to get my camp set up. I'll show you what I'm working with. I'm hungry. I have not had breakfast this morning, so I'm going to have some coffee. Paul brought me some chili, so I'm going to have some coffee, some chili, and uh, spend the rest of the day fishing. I just read the label on the chili and it's a uh, spicy chili. I do like spice. I don't love spicy diarrhea. All right, breakfast was fantastic. Had another cup of coffee. Obviously that was fantastic and I am walking down to the water to go fishing. It is unusually warm for this time of year up here. I do have my down coat on. I definitely don't need it and it's going to come off in just a minute. It's been a been a tough year for me as far as getting out. Um, I've got out more than my channel reflects but I had surgery on my ankle. I had it operated on in uh, August, early August, August 2nd I believe. So obviously I couldn't walk. I was uh, down for quite a while with that and then Got back to work and I was on call for the entire month of September, so I couldn't go anywhere. Here it is October and we are getting out. I did get out last weekend, me, my girlfriend, my good friend Nate, his wife. We had an awesome trip planned up here, a completely different area. We hiked into camp, got camp set up. Nate and I fished for, you know, a good few hours. And uh, there's a wildfire up here. Uh, again, completely different area. There is fish right there. Um, and then we got evacuated at about five o'clock at night. So we packed up and hiked out of there. Kind of ruined that whole trip. Uh, we're here. We're going fishing. I do have a GoPro. Um, so we're going to have an awesome weekend, awesome trip, and I'm excited to be out. We'll call that cast one. Oh! Right out of the gate, I love it. I felt like a good fish. Finally hooked up. I've had, I don't know, probably 10, 10 strikes. So it feels really good to catch one finally. I think I forgot what I'm doing. Come here, good little fish. All right, here we go. Pretty, fish number one. All right, again, I've missed a handful of strikes, but we're into another one. Running for the weeds. Again, this one doesn't feel as big. Oh, maybe it is. There we go. Goodness. There we go. Another really healthy fish. Oh yeah, come on. I had this one on, then it came off, and uh, then it took it again. So we'll take it. Come on in here. Oh my. Okay, you're ready. Swim away. Yeah, it looks like Paul's down there with another fish. That's exciting. 
I think he hollered this was his fourth to the net. Um, he's almost he's almost caught me, so I gotta get fishing again. It was too fun. I wasn't expecting that. Feels like a good fish. My feet wet. Oh, come on. Get this back in the water. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Now I gotta get my net off my back. Where is my net? Right there. Where's my fish? Right there. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It is so pretty up here, quiet. We haven't seen anybody. Um, I am just finishing up my first fishing session. It was great. Uh, I, I don't know, I brought six or seven to the net. Obviously missed a whole bunch of strikes, kind of like always. I'm a little rusty, but it was fun. I'm gonna grab a bag of water while I'm down here. I'm gonna go relax for a bit, eat some snacks, filter some water, and I'll definitely do one more fishing session here in a couple hours, if not sooner, uh, before settling in for the night but there's things at camp that need to be done i need to get some firewood might have another cup of coffee all the things well break time is in fact over and uh, we're going fishing again it is four o'clock it's still like 62 degrees it is it is warm i don't need the coat at all um yeah so 60 degrees october 10th loving it we're probably gonna fish until we're uh, hungry. Then we'll do dinner, fire. I'm gonna go to bed early, but. Yeah, it looks like Paul's gonna catch the, the first fish of the evening. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Best one of the day, probably not the longest, but that's a fat fish. Super fun. I just caught a fish. Paul just caught another fish. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get back fishing. Oh, yeah, got it. Nice. That took me by surprise. Little. Picked up another uh, another little brook trout in the weeds with a little stimulator, dry fly. First dry fly of the day. That was fun. Oh, it just came off. <laughs> I had my net ready and everything. Come on. Uh, playing around with a dry fly in the lilies and picked up another one. Hopefully this one makes it to the net. Come on. God, that's not bad. 
fun little fish on a dry fly. That was awesome. Oop, don't fall. Watch where I'm going. Yep, good fire. We've both had dinner, and I'm going to put this camera away and relax for probably an hour. It's only about a quarter after seven. Um, it's not too late yet, but I'm going to go to bed early. Um, hopefully we have a, a good day tomorrow, so uh, shutting the camera down. We'll see you all in the morning. Uh, I've got coffee going, and I am looking forward to drinking it. Uh, I shouldn't need it. I slept good. It's only like 46, 47 degrees right now. That's pretty pretty wild. It's, it's not cold. I'm going to have coffee, and then I'm going to go take a little walk and relax for a bit. I do have breakfast. Um, I don't feel like it. I, I want it right now, so... I've had my coffee, I took a walk, uh, Paul and I both just had breakfast, I did just a freeze-dried breakfast skillet meal. It was good. Uh, I've got a day pack packed up and we're going on a day hike. We're going to go fish at least one other lake. My ankle's pretty swollen up, so I, I don't know how much further than that I'm going to go, but we are going to uh, walk down to one other lake, hopefully get into some little brook trout and make our way back up here and finish at that lake right there behind us. We have made it. Uh, we're going to spend uh, three, four, five hours down here. We're going to kind of leapfrog, fish the whole lake. Uh, it looks beautiful. We uh, hammered them here last year. Just small, but fun. You know, fast action. Um, so I'm going to strap up my GoPro and we'll see what happens. Is it recording? Uh-huh. Okay, we're at the other lake. Now's the time. Now's the time I'm going to beat. <laughs> I hope you do. We're going to catch more this time than him. My first cast gonna be a small little brook trout on a dry fly. Just gotta find my net. Paul's a couple casts in too and he's had two strikes already so that's that's fun. Super fun. First cast. We'll take it. A little better fish. Fish number two. Uh, Paul just released one, so you know we're three fish in in five minutes. We're still uh, doing good with the dry flies, so that's fun. <laughs> Paul's calling it half a fish, like his are any bigger. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. It might not even be better. It just had a little more fight in it. Yeah, I don't want to touch this little one, but I'll just release it right here from the net. It's ready to go. Oh goodness, that's three casts, three fish. Still dry fly fishing. I'm not gonna change until they stop taking it. little fish. This lake is beautiful. Uh, the wind's picked up. It's probably a, a little loud, but I'm trying to get out of this headwind, and there's a little pond right behind this that I've been curious about, so I'm going to walk down to it, see if I can get out of the wind, and uh, bring in some more fish. Well, the little pond was a bust, but we hiked about uh, two-tenths of a mile behind that, and we're at an, another lake. Uh, my ankle held up, so I'm happy about that. Well, Paul's playing with a little fish right there. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna fish this for a bit and uh, hopefully catch a fish or two. New lake for me, I have never been here. Oh no, it came off! Dang it! It was so little. We have one make it to the net. I've had five or six on and then they've all come off. But they're just small. In fact, boop, small. 
fun though. We'll get it back in the water. I took my camera off of him and then he uh, hooked into half a fish. It's good. Uh, bigger than the one I caught. <laughs> They're just teeny. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we took another, uh, we're back at the middle lake in between us. And we're both fishing again. Paul just released one and I'm just bringing one in. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's pretty. Thank you. Got another one. It's got some good fight. Let's see what we got here. Yep, just another little guy. Yeah, it might be a little bigger than the last one. Really pretty. Given the helicopter that is right above me the thumbs up, it's just flying away. It is telling us to get out of the area. A uh, wildfire. Unbelievable. It's hard to believe this is the same one. We are a long ways away from last week's, but um, yeah, we've probably got to get out of here. All right, so here's my last little update. I don't know uh, if you could hear it earlier. The helicopter came, found us, circled us twice, said this area is closed under evacuations due to the wildfire. At this point, I don't know if it's the same one that pushed us out last week or a new one. We can see smoke. Um, unbelievable, but obviously we're, uh, we're going to pack up real quick and get out of here. So we're going to shut this one down uh, with the fire. It's probably going to be my last trip of the season. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but we're out of here.